It comes down to a drop in demand. Bait shops are not buying the bait shrimp that these shippers catch. And sport fishermen, they're not going into the red tide zones, and that's making demand drop as well. These fishermen are setting out from the docks in Port Ritchie into the Gulf to catch shrimp. Not the kind you see on your plate, the kind other fishermen use to catch fish. If we can't sell, then, you know, it's, that's it right there. Lately, shrimp buyers are reducing their orders. I said right now it's kind of rough with the red tide and stuff. I mean, it's bad out there. It is. And uh, if, it comes up, if it comes up this way more, it's really going to put us out of business. Area shrimpers gathered to plot a strategy to survive this latest calamity. We don't want to be rich. We just want to be able to make a living. The plan is to ask for assistance as the red tide menace drags on. We're hoping that Governor Scott will help us. We do not need loans of 180 days. We need to be compensated for our losses. Many blame the red tide for smaller catches, even though it hasn't been detected in this area. I took a delivery up of 9,000 shrimp and out of that 9,000 there's 3,400 dead and that's a lot. We're really hurt pretty bad now. We're no orders, uh, your tackle shops, all your sport fishermen. Many shrimpers worry it's going to get much worse before it gets better. In Port Ritchie, Peter Bernard, News Channel 8.